So here we are with my little fishies. Fishies! Fishies, come! So I do feed these fishies a hell of a lot, and I like to, uh, I like to manually feed them. I like to feed them by hand. Because with younger fishies, they can get a bit, you know, if you're constantly feeding them with a fish feeder, they can get a bit used to it, and they can get to the point where they don't really like people anymore because there's no particular reason for them to. So I like to shout fishies when I go and feed them, and then it gets them to come to you as well. And I can guarantee that when these are bigger fish, no matter where they are, if I shout fishies, they will come to me. They do remember that sort of thing. It's fantastic. And uh, it's just great, I like it, but it takes a lot of effort and it means I've got to be here a lot every time I want to feed them, which is impractical, you know, sometimes you want to go shopping or want to go out, whatever, and you think, oh, I could do a feeding fish. So, I want a fish feeder that will feed the fish when I tell it to, not one that's going to feed at 7am, 8am, you know, 12 p.m., whatever. I don't want the one that's going to feed at specific times because I want to be feeding them. I want it to feed when I'm not there and I want it to do it when I want it to. So it's a bit complicated. Um, so the system I'm going to set up can also be done as a timer, but I'm not going to do it like that. Um, so this is the fish feeder that I'm going to be using. It's a global leaf fish feeder, fairly simple, cheap. You can get these pretty much anywhere, they're absolutely fantastic, I love these fish feeders. I've probably had this particular one about 8 years, something like that, maybe even a bit longer, I'm not sure. Um, and it still looks pretty decent, it's spent a lot of time outside and stuff like that. They're quite reliable, I've tried a few other different fish feeders and not particularly found anything I like as much as this, it's just simple, you put power to it, it works, I quite like them. So the way these work is obviously you've got this little bit of cable here. And then basically this cable connects into this transformer here. So it basically just plugs in. And when you just plug that straight in, it's feeding the fish. So if I just plug this straight in and turn it on, it just constantly feeds, it doesn't stop. So the way you actually put it on a timer is to actually put a timer on it and you get these timers with them. And, and basically you can just use any timer. This is like a Christmas light timer basically, but it does count in seconds. Um, so it can put the timer on for one second, which is not very many timers do that. They usually start in minutes. Um, so obviously, I mean, this would work for if you'd wanted to come on at seven o'clock in the morning, then eight o'clock, whatever, uh, and it works great. But I haven't used them in ages because I just like to manually feed. So I haven't probably used this in a couple of years, and I've got two others as well. Um, but there we go. This might be the way I start to use them again. So, how am I actually going to achieve this smart thing? So these are basically the two different types that I most commonly use of Alexa controlled smart sockets. Uh, these ones are fairly cheap, these ones are like 30 quid for three, so like 10 or each. They're actually cheaper than these because these things are about 20 quid or something ridiculous that count in seconds. Um, so, but this one connects to your Wi-Fi, so when you set this one up it connects to your Wi-Fi router. When you set this one up, this one is 30, these ones are 30 quid each, I don't know if I mentioned that, so a lot more dearer than these ones, but this one's a Philips Hue one. This one connects directly to the Philips Hue ecosystem, so you need a bridge, uh, it's called a Philips Hue bridge, that this connects to. So this one connects to Wi-Fi, so all you need is this particular one, and it works standalone. This one works with the Philips Hue bridge, and the bridge is what connects to Wi-Fi, or Mine's wired, so um, with this one you've got extra steps, but I find this more reliable. So with the Wi-Fi one, you know, it always has to be getting a signal from your Wi-Fi, and perhaps my Wi-Fi is not that reliable, to be honest. Uh, it's pretty good Wi-Fi, but you know, I only use it for mobile phones and a few Alexa devices and whatever. Everything else I tend to wire up that I want more reliable. But anyway. Um, this particular one, what I find is because these lights are controlled by this one because they're cheap and I quite like them. And what happens is, say if this light turns off at six o'clock in the afternoon, the bright one. And what happens is, say if at six o'clock Alexa sends it the signal to turn off. Now, at six o'clock, 
the Wi-Fi signal weren't great or just some at that exact moment for some reason it weren't quite as connected as it should have been and weren't receiving information which happens more often than you'd think it just don't even bother to send the signal so the light stays on basically um, and it happens perhaps once a week I'll turn the lights off manually by telling her to turn them off which isn't a problem for a light because you know it just stayed on a couple of hours longer than it should have done and I can just turn it off and if I'm not in the house I can I usually have a look on cameras and I'll just see that it's on and I can just use my phone to turn it off not a problem but with a fish feeder if she turns it on and then doesn't turn it back off we're having massive problems because then it's just going to dump the entire tub of food into the pond which I don't want it to do so that's why I'm using these particular ones because this connects to the Hugh bridge I find it more reliable because it's direct you know connection to the bridge and then direct connection to my internet connection so it is more reliable uh, from my experience because it's not on a network where loads of other things are it's basically on a network where these smart sockets are and my lighting um, whereas this one's on a network with phones, computers, Alexa devices, whatever and loads of these so you know the Wi-Fi I don't find that reliable this I find quite reliable so that's why I'm going to be using one of these sockets for this job because I find it more reliable and I do not want it to be stuck on so basically I'm going to be getting rid of this and the transformer is going to plug straight into there and power the uh, fish feeder. Now Alexa can allow you to set routines and that's how I'm going to be doing it and she can set things in five second increments which is fine because I think I'll want this fish feeder running for about 15-20 seconds I'll have to work out exactly uh, and basically how I'm going to do it is I'm going to say to her um, feed the fish, I'm going to tell Alexa to feed the fish and then what she'll do is she'll run this for say 20 seconds and then after it I'll set her to repeat it to me so I'll show you the command later on so I've got it all set up and plugged in and it does work, I've given it a quick test and I found out that I want it on for 40 seconds not 20, it's not long enough so we'll just have a quick look at the actual routine that I've said so this is Alexa's controls of routines so what I've done here is I've set the fish I've set the QT fish feeder to come on, waits 40 seconds and then turns it off and then after that the Alexa device that you said uh, says fish are fed uh, and that's important because what happens is if it doesn't turn it off for some reason it probably won't say that so then you can make sure it's just a little, it may do but it's sort of a little bit more of a guarantee that if you don't hear it say fish are fed then it probably is either stuck the fish feeder on or not so and then I've set it to the device that you're talking to so that I can do it on my phone and it'll do it exactly the same as doing it to one of my Alexa devices so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get this um, all set up and I'm going to put it on top of here where it's supposed to go and I'll show you it running so here we are with the hungry little fishes so what I can do with this is if I'm not in the house I can use my phone to say to Alexa uh, feed the fishes or I can just use one of the Alexa devices and that's if I've run out of food or I just can't be bothered to do it manually or something like that so let's have a try see if it works I've got the fish feeder up here Alexa feed the fish there we go I just heard it click because I've still left the thing on the side and uh, it is feeding the fish so it I've set it to 40 seconds so over the 40 seconds it slowly puts in more and more food and uh, obviously they're used to me feeding it so that's why they've come to this side uh, but the food's actually just dropping in just here and uh, they've found it now look and then after the 40 seconds it'll tell me that it's finished feeding hopefully and uh, yeah I think it'd be great it'd be very useful for me anyway it's exactly what I wanted to do some lovely fish in this tank these are all from Cuttlebrook Goy Farm yeah, but after some, there we go, that's the fish is fed and uh, done so there we go yeah some lovely little fry, at some point I'm going to do a video on the fry and uh, get them out and have a really close look at them but there is some absolutely lovely little fishes in here I'm really pleased with them and uh, there's a hell of a lot of fishes as well very greedy and they've grown very well having a bit of problems at the minute with the heater so it's a one kilowatt heater I were keeping it at 26 degrees but as you can see it's at 22.3 the heater's not turning off 
uh, but it is very cold outside um, so that's basically why uh, at some point it will you know when it warms up outside it the temperature will come up so you think this being an indoor tank it wouldn't be affected by outside temperatures but it is because a lot of the plumbing's down in a basement which isn't heated and also the fresh water coming in is really cold um, so I've got some ideas for the fresh water because I think it will make a massive difference if I can heat that fresh water up a little bit more uh, before it comes into the tank so that's one of my plans in the future and uh, there we go little fishies so if you like this video then please like it if you want to see more fishy related videos and videos on these fishies then please feel free to subscribe if you have any questions or comments then please put them down below and I shall see you in the next video thank you for watching